There is no doubt that there is much talk surrounding Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's baby on the way. Royal experts investigate the Duke and Duchess relationship, as well as look at how Meghan has been handling her first pregnancy in the public eye, in TLC's special, Meghan and Harry, A Royal Baby Story, which aired Tuesday. The one-hour TV event, however, seemed to upset fans on social media as the pregnant Duchess's estranged half-sister, Samantha Markle, takes center stage and criticizes Meghan's new royal lifestyle. As the world has become obsessed with the royal couple, it's also apparent that tabloids and media have been taking note of everything that the mom-to-be wears, how she acts and how she compares to Kate Middleton. I believe that there is a jealous streak in Meg, Samantha says of the constant comparisons between Meghan and Kate and what they wear. She does like to be the center of attention. I feel like that's a part of what is happening now. Focusing heavily on Meghan's maternity looks, the royal correspondents, including author Katie Nichol, celebrity journalist Ashley Pearson, Emily Andrews and more, also dissect her more controversial, glamorous and sleeker ensembles. One example of the fashion freedom that Meghan has, and has caused quite a stir, per the correspondents, is her Oscar de la Renda dress she wore to the Australia Geographic Society Awards. Another was her cream-colored Dior cape dress and accessories she wore to a reception in Morocco, reportedly estimating $130,000. I would spend less. I think a lot of people would. So that has been a bit controversial, chimes in Samantha. The special also touches on how Meghan and Harry's child will most likely stray from the traditional royal children attire that people have been Prince George and Princess Charlotte Dawn. As for her birthing plan, Samantha also gives her two cents, stating, I think between her own natural endorphins and peace and meditation, and the medical staff standing by, I think she will do very well. Hopefully she will give birth in whatever comfortable, safe setting she feels best in. However, when it comes to her estranged sister having a nanny at their new Frogmore cottage, Samantha says, I think Meg will definitely get a nanny. I'm pretty sure that her threshold for stress could be quite low in the beginning, she added. How many rooms in Frogmore? I can see them all being filled with nannies. Meghan is very strong-minded, and there will definitely be a budding of heads, but Meghan could learn and grow from that. So if the nanny is strong enough, then she won't be left in tears. While Samantha has not been in contact with Meghan for a month, her comments continue, with her also sharing her thoughts on Meghan's New York baby shower and how the Markles should be involved in baby Sussex's life. I certainly think it's unfair to overshadow how in the girl dad, Thomas Markle, was in, Meghan's, life, Samantha states before claiming that her half-sister left them behind. It's not that we were never there. We've gone to your dance recitals holidays, thanksgivings. Now all of a sudden we don't exist. You can't hurt people like this and then turn around and flip the script and play victim." Samantha concludes her portion by explaining that she thinks it's important that children have a bigger sense of their family and where they could from. I would like to think that this child would have access to the best parts of granddad and get to know that side of the Markles, she says.